Hey everybody, how's it going? Good to see you again, or for the first time, maybe. We're a little, we're, look at that, we got one minute, we're a little bit early. Somebody say hi to me. Where's the chat? Somebody find the chat and say hi to me, I'm lonely. But <laughs> I like to start off with making you do work with the system. So there's going to be a chat function somewhere. It takes a second. It takes a second to get through the interwebs. Find that chat section and someone say hi to me. You have to do it. It's necessary. You don't have to do it. But we got, oh, look at that. I killed a minute. The minute's up. The minute's up. Hi. There it is. Hi. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got a bunch. Okay. So, so you guys have found the chat. Congratulations. <laughs> Good job. Uh, throughout the course of the painting, if you have any questions, put them in the chat there. Um, yeah, let me know anything you want me to, to show you again or go over, uh, repeat, uh, or any other question, right? Throw it in the chat there. Let me know. All right, so today we are going to be painting this really cool castle painting. Now, the castle's the subject, right? That's what, that's the thing. That's the thing we're painting. But it's kind of the easiest part, or it's the simplest part. Uh, this painting's more about the background. So we're going to go nuts. We're going to go nuts in that background. We're going to have a lot of fun, get a lot of color in that background, and then the castle is just going to be in there. We'll talk about the castle a little bit later on. Uh, let's get into the background here. Before we do, very quickly, materials for today, of course, canvas. You can go horizontal, landscape, right? You can go this way if you want. I'm going vertical because I like this idea of, the, of a really tall, narrow castle uh, with a big sky above it. Um, yeah, but you can go either way, either way you want. And even right now, I'm gonna tell you right now, start to think about what kind of castle you want if you, if you really want to put in the extra effort and you're like a, a Harry Potter fan, right? Look up on your phone, look up Hogwarts on your phone and see if you can put that in there. It's just going to be a silhouette, fairly simple. Uh, so this castle could be anything. It could be the Disney castle, right? Uh, Neuschwanstein, that's the castle in Germany that the Disney castle is based off, something like that, maybe generic castle, maybe Masters of the Universe fans for some old people out there, Castle Grayskull, yeah? So think about that, right? You can decide what kind of castle you want in there. Uh, right, so canvas, vertical, that's what I'm doing for this one. Brushes, I'm gonna be using three brushes for today. Uh, this big one here, about the size of my thumb, Big flat brush. Uh, another one, a little bit smaller, about the size of my pinky, about pinky sized. And then another really small brush that has a nice tip on it. This one's a bit fuzzy. Look at that, it's a bit fuzzy. But if I get that wet, I get a bit of water on there, I can get a nice, there it is, nice sharp tip on it. So something you can get a nice sharp tip on for the smaller details. Paint is going to be black and white and primary colors, yellow, red, blue. If you want to do something else, you can do that. All of the colors are going to be in the background. So if you want your background to be greens and blues, do that. Or turquoise, orange, pink, whatever you want. Right? We're going to start with the lightest color and go with the darkest. Like I said, I'm going to be using primary colors, yellow, red, blue, uh, and blending those across. Uh... You're going to need water, of course, for rinsing your brush, a paper towel, and a palette. Uh, we're not going to be mixing unless you want to mix colors. I'm not going to be mixing. I'm just going with the color right out of the tube. right? So this will just be to load up on, load up my paint onto the brush. That's it. Let's get started on this background right away here. So the first thing we're going to need is the large brush and yellow paint. So I'm going to start with my yellow paint here. Let's put that on the palette. And my castle is going to be down here. That's where I want the brightest color. 
Again, if you're doing different colors, that's fine. Start with your brightest color in the bottom left. Now, I'm not just filling it in like a circle. I'm doing streaks that are going up and across at a diagonal here. So here we are. Yellow paint. And just get a little bit of yellow on there. And start making some big streaks across the sky like this. Here we go. So there's one big streak right there. Kind of a mess. I'm going to go right to the corner here. Also, I recommend when you get to the side of the canvas, paint the sides as well. Like that. I think that looks better when it wraps around. Right, so paint the sides and the top and the bottom of your canvas as well. Okay, there's one big streak happening here. Let's get some more, maybe some smaller ones. Maybe one over here, streak. This is just the sky we're doing right now. Right, so we're just getting some color in here. It doesn't have to be in this exact location. But again, I like this. I like these streaks happening like this. They could be blobs. I don't know. I don't, I don't like that idea. But they could be blobs. Maybe a streak over here. Maybe some smaller ones now. Streak over here. One over here. What else? Maybe something back here a little bit. little more. How about that? There. There. Lovely. Nailed it. Big streaky mess. If you have a big streaky mess that looks like that, good job. You nailed it. <laughs> right on. Okay, I'm going to put that big brush down for a minute. And I'm going to move to my next color, red. But before I do that, I want to mention that I want to get some texture in this sky. Instead of just streaks like this, I want to get some texture. Now, you could just go with streaks. You could use your large paintbrush to do red. And we start filling in areas that are red. The same that we use the yellow here. Or if you want to get a bit crazy, instead of a paintbrush, use a paper towel and kind of crumple it up. Crumple it up like that. And then when we use red, you pick up the red with the paper towel like this. And you tap, 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 and you put it on like that. That's an option too. That's what I'm going to do. So check it out and see if you like that. Already, Here we go. Red paint. blob of red, crumpled up paper towel. I'll just kind of, I'll hold this up here so you can see what I'm doing. Pick up some of that red on your paper towel. And now I don't want this to be like layers, but now I want red streaks that are over here. And I'm going to put those on by tapping like this, but really fast. Lots of little taps like this. And I'm trying to fill in the areas that are white right now over here. It's okay if I overlap that yellow a little bit, of course. That's fine. But I'm not trying to cover it up. Make sure you leave lots of that yellow showing. And just like the yellow, I like it when it's in streaks. Right, so there's a big red streak across there. There's going to be a red streak across here. Let's move over here for a little while. Big red streak across here. Get the sides, of course. There we go. So you can start to see what's happening here. Again, the other option would be to do this with a brush. Let's rinse off that yellow. Here we go. 
right you could do this with a brush as well either adding them in like this red streaks like this or you could do a stipple pattern with your brush as well tap 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 like this i don't like that i don't like that for this one i like this one i like this technique it's weird it's different there we go something across here maybe now i haven't completely it doesn't really matter but something i'm thinking about i haven't completely surrounded my yellow with red i've got some areas where the yellow is just touching the white that's okay right i'm not trying to make it look like a wavy rainbow streaks streaks all right i'm having difficulty getting down here now because because my easel's in the way so i'm going to rotate it yeah that's easier i can get my bottom there How's that looking? Pretty cool. I think it's just about got it. A little more down here, I think. Yep, that's got her. Okay. Next color, we're gonna keep going here. Next color is blue. Same thing. Blue paint, whatever you did with the red, do that again with the blue. Blue paint. Now, you could use the same paper towel. You could get a different one if you want. Uh, you could, if you're worried about it, open it up right and just fold it over and there look at that just like it's a brand new paper towel never been used before right just use a clean section okay there we go here we go with the blue again any spots that are white now you're going to cover those up with the blue again i like this uh this look of the streaks happening so i'm going to try and keep it streaky right pick up a little bit of paint put it on here and then start moving backwards there now it looks like a streak happening there uh one over here if there's some areas little bits of white showing through in here that's okay it's not the end of the world it's allowed There we go. I've got no paint. Oh, there it is. I got a little bit of paint on my hands. I was about to say, normally my hands are covered in paint by now. I don't know. How about you? How are you doing? How are you doing with this? Do you have paint all over your hands? It happens. Sometimes that happens. Okay. That's more or less got it. Uh, nope, I lied. I need a little bit in here. A little streak in here. There we go. So like I said, not trying to overlap the red too much because I want to keep that red. I like it. I want to be able to see all three colors in there. Uh, yep, I think that's about got her. Yep, looks good. Last thing I'm going to do is, of course, with the blue, like I said, go around, make sure I've got all of my edges. See, look at that. Look at that edge. That looks much nicer. 
where the paint wraps all the way around the side of the canvas rather than this where it just stops and it's a mess mess where'd you go Glenn? i'm here i'm still here okay if there's any massive blobs of paint on your canvas some some big blobs in here maybe take a, a dry section of your paper towel and tap that up a little bit tap 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 just to make sure that it dries right it doesn't take forever to dry I think I've got it. Yep, that's got it. Yep, got it. Okay, I'm done with this paper towel now. I'm gonna put this down. I'll give you a minute to work on this. Make sure you're caught up before I move on. There we go. Missed, missed the garbage can. Uh, yeah. So again, I'll give you a minute to catch up there. You're probably gonna want a new paper towel. That other one's toast. There we go. Uh, I don't know if you've decided on what kind of castle you wanna do yet. I'm gonna just show a generic, uh, castle there's going to be parts of a wall down here and some tall towers with with pointy roofs on them little windows in there just generic looking nothing specific not a specific uh castle so whatever you want to do that's fine or you can just follow along with me here uh i've only got i've only got one you're you're pretty safe today i've only got one castle joke so while we're waiting for this to dry up here you're getting my one castle joke it's i can't i can't hear you laughing so you have to type like ha 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 in the chat when i'm done or boo you can boo me too that's allowed <laughs> all right so here it is it's uh i think it's about this castle maybe the king the king that lives in this castle he had a problem with all the, the, the peasanties in the area, kept raiding his meat stores, right? His, his, uh, st his meat storage. So he decided to better protect his meat. He was gonna take it all and he was gonna put it up in the tallest tower of the castle. And then he did that. And at that point he realized that the stakes had never been higher. Da, 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 da. If you don't know that expression, that doesn't make any sense. Then you have to ask for an explanation. And then it's not funny anymore. <laughs> Nobody laughed. What, what, what happened? I liked it. I uh, don't, don't worry. I laughed. <laughs> I laughed at it. All right. Oh, blew on my finger. Uh, okay. My blue is still a bit wet here, especially up here where I just put it on. My, don't put blue down here. There we go. Uh, the red is a little bit wet. My yellow is dry. I think it's okay to move on from this point. If yours is still wet, just leave it for a little bit. And of course, what you can do, uh, grab a, there we go, grab a painting of a butterfly or something else, right? <laughs> and a book, newspaper, right? And not too hard, just gently get a little bit of air going across it to let it dry. And it's okay if you wait a few minutes and then catch up, right? That's allowed. Okay. Black paint for the castle. 
Now I'm going to start by blocking in some of the larger pieces with this brush. I don't want to do the big stuff with my little brush. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to fill it all in. I'm going to get some of the big areas with my pinky. Pinky brush, not the big brush, the pinky. Pinky brush. That one. Pinky. All right, here we go. So I'm going to start with something that's maybe it's a wall going across here or a low building. I'm going to start with black and past the halfway mark, maybe up to here. There's just a big, big flat section right down there. Going to wrap around the side of the canvas again. There we go. Goes all the way to the bottom. Yep, that's working. Maybe a little further. Maybe a little further. There we go. Give myself some room. Okay, so I see that as being like the wall, something down low, right? Now I can start to see some of the taller buildings in there. I'm gonna put one big one in the middle, maybe from here to here. Yeah, nice and tall. I say tall, not super tall. Maybe taller than that. Now, as you're working on this, if your corners are looking, look at this corners a little bit rounded. It's not very square. That's okay for now. I can go back and square it off. I can go back in with a sharp brush and clean up some of these lines towards the end. Okay, so I've got one structure going on here. Maybe another one over here, not quite as tall. And maybe it has a little section of it that sticks out like that on a 45 degree angle. You're allowed to do stuff like that with castles. You're allowed to have these weird sections that stick out like that. There we go. And I think there's going to be one other building over here. Not Maybe not quite as tall, not the same height. He's just hanging out over here. There we go. I think it looks like a boat. A little bit. There we go. Hmm. Yep, that's looking good. I'm good with that for now. This middle one, if you got room, and of course yours can be different, right? You can do whatever you want here. Uh, I'm gonna give it a bit of a sloped roof, right? So it's gonna have a bit of a slope here and then go back. You see that? See what just happened there? Like the roof of a house, right there. I'm going to do that on the other side. There we go. Now I'm going to add, this is the fun part, I'm going to add some tall towers in here. This guy, I think he's off to the side. I don't think he's got a tall tower. No. This guy in the middle, yeah, for sure. I think he's going to have a shorter tower here. I'm just blocking these in wherever I want. It's gonna have a shorter tower there and then a really big one. Now, I gotta, I'm gotta. i standing to the side so I don't get in the way. I need to stand in your way so I make sure this goes straight up and down. There we go. Big tower. Right there, lovely. 
Mm -hmm. Off to the side, I'm going to put another one. Another big tower right here. Maybe even a little taller. I don't need a lot of space between these towers. Right, that's fine if it's like that. There we go. I think maybe there's another structure back in here somewhere. Uh, you can only see a little piece of it. So I'm going to put a little diagonal line going like that. I like that. I like how that breaks that up. There we go. Hmm, maybe over here, a couple towers over here. Maybe a tall one. Maybe right on the edge. This guy right here. Tall one here. And then a little one. He's got a little buddy beside him. There we go. Yep, I'm good with this. I'm going to leave it there in terms of my towers. But I like the pointy roofs. The pointy, right? Those sharp pointy roofs on these towers. So now, same thing, right? I'm just adding to this big line right in the middle here. And a diagonal to the side, diagonal swooping to the side, and there we go. Again, if you're having trouble with the sharp details here, you can move to a smaller brush. I'm still going to use this brush for a little bit longer, and then I think I'm going to switch. This guy here, same thing. Swoop, swoop. There we go. This guy here, yeah, for sure, this guy. This guy needs a pointed roof. And these two, this is just a little guy here, so maybe just, just a little roof here. A little taller on this guy. There we go. All right, I'm pretty happy with that now. So I'm gonna switch to my small brush. And I'm gonna clean up some of these details, right? Make this a little pointier. Make these edges on the roof a little sharper. Right, these can be super pointy, these tips can be super pointy. That's a good thing. All right, I'm happy with the way it's looking here. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick. Don't tell anyone. If you're having a problem, I didn't do this one. I think he needs one. No, I'm going to leave him. I like him. Yeah, I got one flat roof. If you're having a problem getting a sharp tip on your brush and getting these little details, I'm going to show you a trick. We're going to cheat. Right? Grab one of those. Grab a Sharpie. And you can use this. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, sharp line. Perfect. Over here a little bit, maybe. There we go. By the time this dries, no one, no one will ever know. Maybe this guy's not sharp enough. There we go. Look at that. No one's ever going to know. That you clean that up with a sharpie. No one, not well, you know because you saw me, <laughs> right? Uh, that's okay. You're allowed to do that. It's kind of like cheating, but you're allowed. If anyone says you're cheating, you can say Glenn said I'm allowed to. Okay. Mm. 
Yep, I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave that alone. Right? I'm going to leave that. No, I don't like this roof. This roof needs fixing, right? You can always step back and take a look at it and say, is this right? Is this done? Did I do it right? Is it finished? This roof's a little crooked. You know what? I don't mind that it's crooked. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's working. I like it. Okay. I'm done there. I'll give you another minute to finish up on your castle. Uh, again, my process for coming up with something like this is to start at the bottom, work your way up, and divide things up as you go up, right? So I started with one big base, not the full canvas, right? I left some room over here. Big base, the, a wall or a structure, something down here. And then a couple of sort of medium-sized buildings and things in here. And then on top of that, I put tall towers and then the roofs, right? So I started with one big section and then three sections and then one, two, three, four, five towers coming off and a half and a stubby one, <laughs> right? Uh, that's my, my little way of, of putting together these castles. Uh, like I said before, the other option is uh, look up castles, look up silhouettes of castles. Um, again, Hogwarts, uh, if there's a castle you like, something in Europe that you like, uh, something from, this could be anything, of course, right? This could be from Lord of the Rings. This could be a space station, right? Uh, this could be a city skyline. You could do this as a Manhattan city skyline, uh, Paris with the, the Eiffel Tower, Edmonton. That could be the Edmonton skyline if you wanted to, right? So this could be anything. All right, one more minute, one more minute to finish this up and I'm gonna show you the next part. Uh, it's gonna be white. You're gonna use white next. Stars, I think this, this guy needs some stars in here. Um, and little windows in our castle. A Couple of different ways of doing stars. Uh, but my favorite way is to use a toothpick, maybe a toothpick, or the uh, the wrong end of your brush, the handle of your brush. That's the way I'm going to do it. Now, another little trick here is, I'm, I'm still here, I'm over here now. Instead of putting the paint for this white part, instead of putting the paint on your palette and then putting it from the palette onto your brush and then from your brush onto the canvas just cut out the palette completely take the lid off your white paint and just pull it right from your lid okay so here's my small brush any brush for this uh, again, a toothpick, even a pencil if you want really small stars. I don't want my stars too small. I want to be able to see them. I'm going to use the wrong end, right? There's the there's the bristles. I'm going to use the wrong end of the brush. Boop. Put a little chapeau, a little hat. If you can see that, put a little hat on it. Just dip it in the white paint. And boop, there you go. There's a star. Look how easy that is. I like this one. Uh, when it comes to stars, uh, make sure you don't have, we're going to put windows on top of the castle. Don't put a star on the castle. The stars are in the sky, not on the castle. That would be weird if there was a star on a castle. That's not how space works. But <laughs> uh, Trying to put them around here randomly. I like to dot, 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 kind of get a couple in a little area. And then move somewhere else. Dot, 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 And almost do like little zigzags or squiggly lines as I'm going across here, right? Do, 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 do. You got to make the dupe noises while you do it. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. You can go over top of the white. That's all right. You can't see it very well. 
on the white. So I'm going to put a couple in there, but mostly focusing on the blue areas. Not trying to evenly space them, right? Some are boop, boop, really close together like that. Some are really far spread apart. That helps it look a little more random. And like I said, I, try, I like to load up and then do like a squiggly line going across or zigzags. Maybe a few down here. Yep, that's better. Right to the side. I'm even going to get a couple on the side here. I hope I don't put my hand in this later on. I might. I'm going to put a couple on the sides here. Pardon my head. There we go. There. There's the stars. I like it when there's different sizes which is just happening naturally here where I, I'm starting to run out of paint on the end of my brush here and, and they got smaller. So there's some small ones here. There's some big ones here. I like that. I like that. If you're still working on your stars or even on your castle, that's fine, right? Work at your own pace, do your thing. Uh, I'm going to finish up here, but yeah, work at your own pace. Don't rush it. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some windows in here. So again, I'm going to use my small brush. It's okay to get a little bit of water on it. Make sure it's clean. It doesn't have black in it because you're going to put it in the white. And if you just pull on the bristles, just very lightly, right? Just very gently, just pull on the bristles a little bit. Then you can change the shape depending on what kind of brush you're using uh, so that it looks like a chisel. See, it's flat. Is that better? There we go. There we go. There, flat, sharp, flat, sharp. So I can take the flat edge now, get a little bit of paint on it, and I'm going to get some big windows in some of my towers here. Not in the roof. I don't want windows in my roof. You could, but I don't. I don't want that. Over here, maybe. There, nice tall, nice tall window right there. A little more paint. Uh, this one's gonna have two. Why? I don't know. I don't know why. Because it was designed by Mad King Ludwig, and he didn't know what he was doing. Maybe a little one down here. So it's just these vertical, I don't need them to be perfect, uh, but trying for little rectangle shapes, right? Let me bring this, oh, don't put your finger in the star. There we go, I didn't do it. Trying for a nice rectangle shape, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe a little one over here. Maybe there's two, one on top of the other, right there. Don't put your hand in the wet paint. Just be careful. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Uh, this one's going to have one, like his buddy. Right up near the roof, but not all the way into the roof. There we go. Maybe some smaller ones down here. Maybe this guy. Maybe he's got four, maybe five. Sure, five. Why not? Now, I kind of think about this as being a roof in here as well, this section here. That's why I put that little angle there. So I'm not going to put any windows in that roof. I'm going to come down here and do like a bunch of windows going across. These could go really anywhere. These windows could go anywhere, really. There's no specific rule for exactly how these have to go. Not too many. Right? Put on a couple. Stop for a minute. 
stand back, take a look at it, and then see what you think. See if it needs more. This guy needs... Mm, no, he's going to... I'm going to leave that one alone. What else? Let's take a look. One right here. Where else? I think that's it. I think that's all of them. No, I want a few over here. And a little row. A little row going across there. Yeah, I think that's got it. That's got it. All righty, guess what? That's it. We finished. <laughs> that's it. There it is there. I didn't see any questions. I know, because we're all working. We're trying to work hard on this thing. So, of course, we need to sign it. I like my signature to be a little bit bold, medium bold. Fairly bold. Uh, white is kind of a, hi a highlight in here. It's kind of an accent color. Um, so I think I'm going to use white. And I'm going to go down here. I'm going to put my signature down here. So once you've got this, once again, if you're still working on it, then yeah, keep going. No rush. No problem. But once you got it, Make sure to put your signature on it. There we go. Yep, there it is. We did it. Right on. Good job, guys. <laughs> you only got, I only have one good castle joke, so... Oh, I've got another joke. Here we go. Okay, you're getting one more. You're getting one for free. Yeah. All right, one more. What's tall and dark and made of stone and looks like a castle? What is it? It's a castle. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. It was a trick. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's terrible. Groan. <laughs> Boo. Ah, no one likes being tricked. Terrible. All right. Ah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again for this painting. Um, yeah, that background is fun. I like that background. Um, I hope to see you guys again. And thank you once again to Kids Up Front for bringing me in. Have yourselves a wonderful, we're going to have a hot weekend, man. Have some, get outside, enjoy that sun. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.